Morning guys and welcome back to the channel. The next big AliExpress sale is right around the corner. It starts on the 20th of March. And with that in mind, I thought I'd test some AliExpress watches inside of Herman. So I've gone into my cupboard and pulled out lots of watches from lots of different brands. All of these watches get sold on AliExpress. I think it would be good to see if they can just cope with a basic water resistance test. I might not be able to test them up to their stated water resistance capabilities, um, but Herman will test them up to 60 meters. Um, in some cases, if they're a 30 meter water resistant watch, then I'll just test them to 30 meters. But yeah, I think it would be good to see how these watches perform with these basic water resistance tests. So um, yeah, I'm going to go and crack on with it. Right, I've just finished testing the first five watches, all made by different brands, all available to buy on AliExpress, although I think they are. Um, I'll put links in the video description if they are still available. Um, I wouldn't recommend all these watches, but still, if you want to have a look at these watches, um, the links will be there for you guys. Um, the first watch I tested was a SKME digital watch, super affordable watch. Um, yeah, I did a couple of tests with this one. I did the first test, which is the safest test, increasing the pressure while the watch is out of the water. That will force air into the case. Dropped the watch into the water after 10 or 15 minutes or so, released the pressure, and quite a few bubbles came up because, well, it's a digital watch. Lots of little nooks and crannies, little places for little pockets of air to uh, form while the watch is in the water. Um, so, yeah, I left the watch inside of Herman or inside the water, I should say. Increase the pressure back up to 50 meters. This is a 5 ATM or a 50 meter water resistant watch. Increase the pressure while the watch was still in the water and then did the ice cube test after I'd taken the watch out. I put it on a radiator, heated it up, let the air inside the watch warm up. And then when you put the block of ice on the crystal, um, condensation will form. And if there's a lot of condensation, then you've probably had a breach. There was a little bit about the amount that I would expect. So I'm happy to call this one a pass. The second watch I tested is one of the best selling watches ever on AliExpress. It is the Escapement Time Dress Watch with the VH31 Seiko Quartz movements inside it. Incredibly popular because, well, it's a quartz movement. It's cheap, affordable, it's beautiful. And the second hand ticks four times every second. So you don't get that horrible, annoying problem with the second hand missing all the markers. Now, this is a 50 meter water resistant watch. Um, there was no need in the end to do the second test because when I released the pressure, so I did the first test, the safer test, increasing the pressure while the watch is out the water, dropping it into the water after 10 minutes or so, releasing the pressure. And um, there were basically no bubbles. So I was happy that this one had passed the 50 meter water resistant test. Watch number three is a Cadison dive style watch. There is a piece of uh, crystal in the case back. Um, so they've given this one a 100 meter water resistant rating, which is quite common for watches with display case backs. Um, Herman can only go up to 60 meters. Um, so I can only test this one up to 60 meters. Um, I did the first test um, and again, a little bit like the digital watch. Divers have lots of little places, little nooks and crannies for air to hide and form when you're releasing the pressure. You do tend to get quite a lot of bubbles, so difficult to confirm either a yes or a no with the first test. So I left the watch in the water, pumped it back up to the maximum 60 meters, left it in there for a little while, took the watch out, um, dried it off, put it on a radiator, and um, then did the ice block test. And again, a little bit like the digital watch, there was a little bit of condensation on the inside, but it's a big watch. Um, there's lots of space inside this watch for um, moist air to well have been present when the watch was being made and so I would expect to see um, well the condensation that I saw from this ice block test um, is roughly what I would expect to see so I do think this one passed the test in the end that's what I'm trying to say it passed this one right watch number four is a Benyar these are amongst the most affordable automatic watches that you can buy on AliExpress and I wouldn't encourage you to buy them actually um, not because they're bad watches they're actually reasonable watches um, incredibly affordable Chinese automatic movements, and some of them look really, really good. Um, they're just not particularly honest in their listings on AliExpress. And that, for me, is reason enough um, to avoid them. Um, they'll often say that things are stainless steel when they're not. I have questioned them about this many, many times, um, quite a while ago when I was reviewing their watches. And um, yeah, they constantly avoided um, the issue and um, just denied that there was a problem. So um, I stopped reviewing them, as did many other watch reviewers. But still, I was curious to put this one inside of Herman to see if it could withstand the 50 meter water resistant rating 
on the dial. Um, so I did the first test. It seemed to pass. So I thought, well, let's do the you know, second test. Let's do the more risky test on this one. Um, put it in the water, increase the pressure up to 50 meters, um, left it in there for quite a while, took it out, dried it off, popped it on a radiator, put the crystal, put the ice block on the crystal and um, yeah, almost no condensation. So it does look like this one has passed the test, which did surprise me. I thought this one was a shoe in for an epic fail, but no, it passed. I shouldn't sound too disappointed, should I? Yay, it passed. Now, the fifth and final watch that went inside of Herman today is my beloved Siegel 1963. It has a 50 meter water resistant rating. I love this watch, so I only did the first test. And to be honest, there was no need to do the second test because um, after I'd put the watch um, inside of Herman, increased the pressure while it was still above the water, um, let it sit there for a while, popped it into the water, released the pressure. Almost no bubbles came from the watch. So I was happy that this one had passed. That simple test, and I'll be completely honest with you, I don't want to risk ruining my Siegel 1963. And um, I'm happy that it did pass that first test. So we've got five passes, um, almost a little bit disappointing to some degree. But I guess, um, you know, we should be pleased. I really wanted that Benyard to fail. Right, guys, um, I'll do another five watches in another week or so before the uh, big sale, before the next sale starts. So, um, yeah, if you guys are thinking of buying any of these watches, you might be able to buy with a little bit of confidence, although it is worth remembering. Um, I'm only testing these watches. All watches are made differently. And, um, yeah, this is no guarantee that every single watch made by these manufacturers will pass. Um, but I guess it gives us some indications to the engineering going on behind the scenes with these watches. Right, guys, thanks for watching. See me again soon.